This is a familiar view of SFO. Terminals, air traffic control tower, the parking garage that I'm standing on. But beneath this area is a world that few people ever get to see, but everyone feels its effects. It's called the Central Plant, and in this episode, we'll take you for a tour through this hidden facility to find out what it does at this airport. I'm Doug Yakel, and this is Inside SFO. With the help of some directions, we found our way to the first stop in our tour, the control center for the central plant. There we met up with Miguel Mesteyer. Miguel is part of the stationary engineers team who ensure that the central plant runs reliably and efficiently. The central plant is the place where we cool and heat the water so that that way we can maintain the air conditioning for the main facility. Throughout all these systems, we have a total of about 80,000 live points that we monitor. It's exciting to see this type of equipment. Next, it was time to head over to the plant itself, and what we found amazed us. Put simply, the plant is made up of two main elements, boilers that create hot water for heating and chillers that create cold water for cooling. These are not your average household units. They need to heat and cool over 5 million square feet of terminal space, including the largest international terminal in North America. It's a big job, and these units are some of the largest in the state of California. Once the boilers and chillers have done their part, the hot and cold water must be distributed to all of the terminals to create hot and cool air for conditioning. To see how this happens, Miguel took us to the next part of our tour. We're at the start of a massive tunnel system that runs to all four terminals at SFO. So let's see what it takes to walk it. Just make sure you have a comfortable pair of shoes with you. After the hot and cool water make its long journey through the tunnel, it ends up in a location like this an air handling unit. Believe it or not, these sci-fi looking rooms exist in every terminal at SFO. They take the water and use it to create hot or cool air to condition the facility. So the central plant at SFO is an amazing system, one that few people ever see. And the people who work here really are the ones who make it hot and keep it cool at SFO. That's a wrap for this episode. Thanks very much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again on the next edition of Inside SFO.